to dump gobs of money on fender flares or gobs of money on uh, body work through a repair shop. Uh, now you're obviously going to take the easy way out if you put fender flares on, um, but if you go to a body shop you're going to be spending thousands of dollars for a body man to repair the rear bedsides on these Dodge Dakota trucks which are notorious for rusting out along with the Dodge Rams. So if you're anything like me, um, I didn't want to dump, dump gobs of money into body work because I would for what I paid for the truck in total just in body work and to me that's not worth it I just want something that's going to be um, not so much a temp fix but a fix that's going to make the appearance look better and maybe get some more years out of it um, before the rust starts peeking through the fender flares uh, so what I did here guys is I went on eBay and the issue I found with the Dodge Dakota fender flares is um, that, well first off they wanted $220 for a set of fender flares. Well I've bought Dodge Ram fender flares before and know that $220 is kind of high for a set of cheap Chinese made um, fender flares. So I've already bought, what I got here is a set of Dodge Ram 02 to 08 Dodge Ram fender flares. Now I've already installed these on a couple Dodge Rams, so I know the um, I know how they're designed. I know that they can be tweaked, um, heated up with a heat gun, and they can fit to the contour of the truck um, how you desire. Especially if you do have damage of any sort, they they're flexible, and you can heat these up and bend them because they're they don't fit perfectly um, to begin with even if you had a Dodge Ram um, straight off the showroom floor, these do not fit perfectly because they, these are just designed uh, to save you money and cover rust ultimately, in my opinion. So, I took a gamble and we're gonna find out today. I've held them up already and they're pretty close. Um, again, these are for an 02 to 08 Dodge Ram and I'm gonna be putting them on my 2008 Dodge Dakota. Um, so I've already held them up and they're pretty close guys so I, I was really impressed um, and to believe it or not I only have 60 bucks in these uh, 65 after tax and everything so it beats the heck out of spending 220 is the cheapest I think the cheapest fender flares I found for my 08 Dodge Dakota and I just didn't want to shell out that kind of money um, if you're like me, I like stick, sticking to a budget and um, making things work. So, uh, yeah, um, I hope this helps you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so here's a little bit of what we're working with today. It's the 08 Dodge Dakota. It's got this body style. Um, you guys probably, if you got a truck, with this body style then this is obviously going to work for you I don't know the exact years that Dodge started making these but if you got this body style um, this will be a great video for you to watch if you're trying to save some money so up here we have no rust what we're gonna have obstacle with is this here I want to keep this I don't want to take this off because it's built into the panel and I don't know how the the actual fender flares for Dodge uh, Dakota would fit right here I can't remember but I know the Dodge Ram ones are going to come down here, so we might have to cut it a little bit. I'm yet to figure that out, but I'm going to show you guys today. Um, here's what we're working with, though. The rust, I had to be able to hide at least, oh, I'd say that's three and a half inches. And I want to say the fender flares are probably four, maybe a little less than four inches. So it's going to hide that rust perfectly. Um, I'm not going to treat this or do anything. I'm just going to simply throw the flares over and be done with it. I don't want to have a lot of time in this guys um, I've done trucks in the past where I've you know cut this out put metal and bondo and paint and I just don't want to do that to this truck for no more than I have in it so this is what we're going to be working with and stay tuned this is going to be my rear left um, fender flare but how it works is when you're sitting in the truck you always want to picture yourself sitting in the seat and um, your left is always going to be your driver's side, your right is always going to be your passenger side, just like your hand. You just think about where your hands are while you're sitting like this. This is my left, this is my right. 
So I'm going to unwrap this. Um, we're going to have some obstacles with this rear fender. I've already held these up. So I kind of got an idea of what we're going to be dealing with here. But on these Dodge Ram fender flares, um, the body line is different. So it's kind of got this little um, notch here. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to shave that to make this lay flat on this Dodge Dakota. But I'll throw this up here. And Alright guys, next I'm going to buzz off. Um, well, let me show you here how it gets narrower up top of the fender flare. And then it thickens out to a little point, or well, a relatively big point there. And then it goes back narrow again. So I'm going to take, I'm going to start up here and just follow this taper. And take off that excess and meet right there. And that's going to make a smoother um, um, meeting place for the um, Dodge Pan, the Dodge Dakota panel, because this is a lot smoother than, ver say, a Dodge Ram. So um, I'm going to cut this off with a uh, cutoff wheel on both sides of the flare. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Just take my sharpie and follow the same that, uh, thickness all the way down. Alright guys, I got my um, impact, DeWalt impact, and I'm going to be using an inch self-tapping hex screw. It's a 8 by 18 by 1 is what the box says. So I'm first going to attack it up here, and then I'm going to attack it on these corners to gain my strength, and then I'm going to be able to heat this up and flex it and tap tap it again, uh, tack it again on there. So uh, let's get started. Oh, and I got this all, I got the flare all sanded down and smooth and now it's one consistent um, thickness. I think it's going to work a lot better that way. Yeah. Okay. So, you'll just want to eyeball this the best you can. So I went and got a um, dr regular drill with the drill bit. I'm just going to pre-drill my holes. I found that even though I have self-tappers that it's wanting to slip and slide. So uh, this will be a better method. Okay, now I have all the access I need to all of these areas. I can get my drill in there a lot better. So I hopped to the front of the truck because I figured that was going to be mo the most difficult. I went ahead and left the uh, rear um, as, I, as I last showed you. I didn't do any more heating up or anything. I just wanted this, guys, I just wanted this project to be an evening thing. I didn't want to sink a bunch of time in it uh, because time is money and I just wanted I figured if I could save 150 to 180 dollars buying these Dodge Ram flares and making them work and I think they're actually going to turn out better than um, I think they're going to look better than the um, flares on eBay that are made for this Dodge Dakota in my opinion but um, yeah so we're going to start on the front here up and I am impressed on how look at that guys this is an 08 Dodge Dakota 
and these are Dodge Ram fender flares. So you tell me, what do you think? This, these are two completely different trucks. I mean, it kind of resembles a Dodge Ram, but really the body lines are completely different on this truck. And you see here, I want to keep this on. Like I told you earlier, I want to keep this on. I don't want to take this off. So all I'm seeing, guys, on the front here is that I'm going to have to take off a little edge. It's a little edge, funky looking edge right there. And that's going to sit in there perfect. And then I'm going to be able to screw this up to there and all the way around. The only weird spot is going to be is I'm going to have another notch that I'm going to take off. And then I'm, I think I'm just going to hack this clean right where this ends right here because uh, the other fender kind of takes over right there and I think it's going to look great guys so check it out. whacked off about oh three to four inches of the bottom that way it didn't do some kind of funky underbite thing there and I can just tag this into the flare that's here and I'll probably just paint that little bit of yellow that's showing on the inside black I thought about taking it up to just here but if I stopped just there I'd have to do some kind of weird transition and why not just won't have one continuous line going down so i'm going to pop this tire off i'm not going to show me doing that i'm going to pop this off i'm going to get this all secured um, it's going to go up e way easier than the rear so um, i'm not even going to show you guys i think you'll be able to figure it out if you attempt this but i'm just going to be re-drilling um, my own holes wherever i see fit and i'll show you guys the finished product Okay, so I went ahead and painted this all up in here, guys. There was a little bit of yellow showing. Um, I went ahead and painted it so it doesn't stand out. Um, but overall, I'm really impressed how this turned out. Um, over here, I'll show you. That turned out great. I like how that still flowed. And all I did was take off that little notch like the back um, fender had. I just took that notch off. And the rest was already there, or as is. And I just cut about a four inch piece off of the bottom there. And I put one, two, three hex head self tappers. And the kit actually came with some screws, so I used those to the plastic. Um, just drilled straight into the plastic, it held great. And I even touched up in here with some spray paint um, to keep the rust down. And I'm gonna put the wheel back on and show you guys the finished product. All right, guys, so I got one side done. Um, I'm not going to film the next side. And I just want to let you know I got about an hour tops in this, and that's with me even videoing. So uh, if, you, I don't know, if you haven't done this before, it might take you longer. If you've done it, it might take you less. Um, who knows? But I know this. Um, I saved gobs of money, and it only took me two hours. I'm a happy camper. That's a day's work day's uh wage for me so um let me show you up close what i what went on so took this off uh there was a little piece of plastic there and i used self tappers and some of the screws that came with the kit I'll show you over here how this turned out um i did minimal cutting right here there was a little notch where the Dodge um, body line, uh, Dodge Ram body line would have been. And there's a little bit, uh, I can put my fingers behind there a little bit, but honestly I've put these on other trucks and that's not a huge deal. So uh, yeah, it looks great on the front. I will say this, if you do do this, um, there's about, say a good inch gap right here. 
where my hand's moving and then the rest all fit up great but that didn't affect the way it looks on the truck I think it looks great if not better than the um, ones that are made for these trucks so back here um, I did only cutting I did was where the ram body line would have been there's a notch on both sides I just cut those off and kind of fanned them to get to meet the um, thickness of this up here just fanned it all together um, I just sheet metal screwed all that together and there is oh in some some areas guys I want to note that you'll blow through if you tighten too tight um, I put washers if you do blow through just add washers uh, it's good practice just to put the washers anyways that way they don't blow out on you and it grips better so uh, yeah guys I'm real happy if you have any questions drop a comment but uh, really happy the way this turned out and throw another note in here this came with the kit it's got the rubber and all that I'll put the link for the eBay um, fender flares on my um, on this video but it comes with rubber to protect the paint just take my word for it don't hassle with this it's just gonna it's gonna slow you down it's not gonna scratch your paint I mean um, if you're planning on keeping them on there who cares you know it's it's unless you're putting them on a show truck uh, which you probably aren't because if you were doing that you wouldn't be trying to cheap out and put Dodge Ram fender flares on a Dakota so uh, just don't even mess with this guys take my advice and don't even mess with the fasteners just buy you some self tapper um, hex nut runners it'll just save you in the long run um, time because trying to put these clips on is just on a truck that these weren't meant for is just going to be a pain a real pain so um, buy you some of these and put some washers on them and um, yeah have fun with it guys thanks for watching